Hello folks and welcome to the second of my video reviews. This time around we'll be having a look at the Beretta M93R. Um, I don't know who the manufacturer of this thing is because I actually received this thing outside of a box. Um, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't really matter anyway. Um, if you just ask for the Beretta M93R from whoever's selling these to you, you're more than likely to either get a I haven't heard of it or yeah sure we have one. Um, Alright so let's switch over to in close up and here we are in nice close up mode. Now um, we have first of all most obviously the um, characteristic extended barrel of the M93R as well as its um, trademark um, fold down foregrip which um, you use for steadying it when um, the thing is firing fully automatically. So that's very nice. We have the fire selector switch molded in. It um, doesn't move or anything like that, but it's still present. And we have our various levers and bits and pieces um, with a little cutaway here for the um, for the speakers in the side of this one. Um, the other thing I really have to note right now is that that's um, it's sort of a, a dull um, brass type colour um, set against the black and I have to say that really does look nice I do like the um, do like the look of that so um, yeah on the exterior this thing looks really cool now one quick thing that I forgot to mention here was that the um, the foregrip is held in place by friction and it is prone to slippage if you shake it but unless you shake it you won't have any problems with that so, um, one quick detail to go over before we look at the mechanical side of things is that um, the batteries sit inside here. That's actually screwed in place, but I unscrewed that um, for everybody to be able to see where they go, just in case you buy one and receive it in a similar state to what I did. And um, now we have to move on to the mechanics of things. So here's where things can get a little bit offensive if you've got sensitive ears to corniness. So away we go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Um, that voice drives me nuts for some reason. I don't know why. The machine gun sounds cool. It's appropriate. But the voice thing is just ah, bad. Um, as for the build of the plastic of this thing now, moving right along... Um, it's it's sturdy enough, but it's a little bit on the weaker side of things. Um, it just feels lighter, and it does have a tiny bit of give to it. So I would not recommend dropping this on hard tile floors. Um, that being said, it's not really going to disintegrate under ordinary use. Just don't play rough with this thing. So um, the other thing that's worth noting at this point in time too is that um, it's a one-to-one -one scale which is fairly nice. So, um, out of 10, I'll probably end up giving this thing, um, say, 7 bullets out of 10. The 3 marks down are because the lighter plastic and because of that accursed bloody voice. Um, that being said, if you want an exotic model of gun that's not really Hollywoodized and really popular that way, these things are an absolute treat. Um, this thing will really stand out in any collection for those who have discerning eye. So that's a Beretta M93R for you ladies and gentle folk. Now stick around, um, stay tuned to this channel because we'll have yet more toy gun goodness to come.